Hello, welcome to another tutorial video. Just before I get into the meat of this one, I'd like to point out a couple of things on the channel page. Uh, first of all, I've set up a Facebook page so you can share this quite easily with your friends if you think something's of use. Uh, secondly, I've actually set up a Twitter account so you can ask me things publicly rather than through messages. Uh, that makes it a lot easier for me, A, to reply to you, and B, it's always there for uh, people to actually look back over questions asked and um, answers rather than them being private ones. Um, and also, most importantly, I've actually put a list of all the WCS tutorials that I've done. So if you click on that, you will actually see a list of everything. Um, I've split it into literature, poetry, and language, and I'm going to be adding to them daily. Uh, currently, I do a lot of my focus on AQA, but I'm going to start doing a lot more OCR stuff. Um, if there's anything else that you want to see added, etc., then just get in touch in any of those modes of communication, and I will see what I can do. Quick video looking at candy in section four, and it's really interesting that we see him here in a real position or as, as powerful a position as we're going to see him. Um, now, first of all, obviously, there's a, a little bit of a societal ref or contextual reference for the time. He comes into Crooks' bunkhouse and he's embarrassed, and it's actually, Rich mentions that twice. It, just a couple of lines earlier as well obviously because he knows that it's not really a place for a white man to be first of all hanging out with the negro and second of all because he uh ha actually likes um crooks but he's well aware of the societal differences between them so there's two reasons he feels embarrassed first of all because it exists and second of all because um you know he doesn't actually do anything to change it so and in him being here as well he knows he's only there because lenny's in there he never would be in there if uh if uh, lenny hadn't gone in there and the only reason lenny can going there is obviously because he doesn't understand or fathom the uh, the societal differences um when crooks actually kind of pertains uh, sorry mentioned something uh, regarding the uh way the dream is going to fail he gets very offended and so he rubs his cheek angrily he says you're goddamn right we're going to do it so obviously two references there the fact that he does it angrily and the fact that he says you're goddamn right we're going to do it uh, shows exactly how um, you know, kind of uh, pumped up he is by the idea of the ranch and obviously finally getting the dream. And obviously we have to remember that, especially with Candy's age, and we don't know how old he was when he lost his hand, but especially with Candy's age, this is all walks of society have actually been shown here. So Candy is a reference, you know, like this, people did this to the end of their lives. Whereas Wit is, you know, people started at the, op the, the opposite end of the spectrum. Wit shows that people, st you know, start their lives doing it. And then obviously we've got all the ranges in between, um, probably George, you know, slightly lower and then Slim, slightly older and then um, curly and then candy so you know the fact that he's he's um he's uh he's, he's actually stressing it so much because this means so much to him he's probably worked doing the job he's doing for like 30 40 years so try and stress if you do get into analyzing this that for him it means so much more than just you know moving house you know it's a complete change of way of life something he's been a slave to for 40 years and obviously kind of the unity he feels so quickly in in the shared dream by the fact he's saying that we're going to do it uh, i picked out this line in reference to candy but obviously you can use it for lenny and crooks as well because all of them happen to swing their heads towards the door and the word swung is really interesting because first of all obviously they shift their heads towards the door at such a rate and speed that it's just like a complete change of that's going from one side to the other um so from wherever they're all looking at and they'll just swing obviously it's quite dramatic uh, quite dramatic in and of itself which kind of helps first of all for curly's wife's entrance but moreover it kind of is um the pendulum swinging point on their dream as well like before she walks in you know everything's actually going to plan crooks is actually thinking about getting in on it as well you know it's 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 a real ray of hope for him but then after this uh, moment when she actually walks in then it just kind of swings the other way everything's going to be destroyed obviously in this chapter we see crooks uh, kind of just pull himself out of the dream as well you know he him going back to his place and then a little later on when uh, lenny's killed uh, excuse me when lenny's killed um, curly's wife he his his position swung back as well you know he knows he's not going to get the dream anymore and obviously Lenny uh, dies so Lenny's not going to get his dream as well so that point right there is swung it's not just a swing of heads it's also you can also take it as uh, the swinging of fortunes as well um, it'd be a, an interesting point to analyze uh, and here Candy says um, you know just again shows his insight and his understanding he says to Curly's wife you know well if you know why are you asking us where Curly is so he's putting the um, um, you know the focus directly on her and her negligence and making it very clear to you know that she is just flirting you know there's no there's no reason for for her to be there etc apart from to try and get other people's attention and obviously in that he's showing us exactly what he thinks of her um, and then obviously he tries to uh, not intimidate her in any way but obviously kind of 
um, stand up to her ways and just kind of show her that he's got something to look forward to and something to be proud of. And, uh, you know, he says, you don't know that we got our own ranch to go to. And it's really interesting that he says that to both Curly's wife and he says something similar to Crooks. You know, he just kind of like lets out the plan. So while we've got uh, while we've got uh, George telling Lenny to be quiet and Lenny doesn't actually say anything to anything, we've got Candy, obviously the more intelligent of the two, kind of spurting his mouth about everything. It's uh, spurting, sorry, his mouth about everything. And that's really interesting because it shows us again how stressed, oh, sorry, how worked up and pumped he is by it, even though he's sane, logical, reasonable and, 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 and uh, you know, has got his senses around him and is kind of mature and, and developed in other places. You know, this is so exciting to him that he just cannot keep it to himself. He's only found out earlier in that day uh, or at least within that within within the last day. And straight away, he's going to tell um He's already telling, you know, like two of the six characters that we're going to meet or seven characters that we're going to meet about it. So, again, it just shows how important it is. And again, stressing the word we uh, is, is, is really important to him in that as well.